How's it going, everyone? Marilyn here, and that's right, it's time for more TCG stuff, and today we're gonna be checking out this booster box of the newest Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion set, Rebel Clash, that was sent to me by my friends at Pokemon to check out and kind of show you all what the contents of this are. I mean, there's 36 booster packs in here, you know booster packs, they're random. You could get a bunch of Magikarp or, well actually I don't know if Magikarp's in the set, but you get the idea. Um, so we'll see what I get inside of this sealed booster box here. Gonna open up 36 booster packs of the newest set. This releases on May 1st, 2020. So we'll see, uh, I get it a little early, which is kind of cool. You get a nice sneak peek. Now I have already opened up the theme decks and an Elite Trainer box, which had eight booster packs in there. So if there are any cards that I have opened in those, I'm not gonna go over them too much again. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you haven't seen any of those videos, you might want to check them out. Now, one thing I definitely need to mention, this is very important. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> um, two things, actually. This is the, the Maryland disclaimer. So one, I do not do the, the quote-unquote pack trick where you rearrange cards when you open up the booster pack, so the rarest cards on the back. I've never been a fan of that myself. I'm never gonna change. That's just something I don't enjoy doing. So if you are expecting that, you know, just understand we may agree to disagree here, but that is intentional. I am aware of it. I just, I don't really like doing that. Um, the second thing is I'm not gonna just tear through these booster packs. Over here on my channel, I do like to keep things, you know, pretty chill, pretty relaxed, and I like to take a moment to kind of look through each of the cards. I mean, I'm not gonna go super slow, but to some of you it might seem that way if you're used to watching people that just rip through the packs to get to the good stuff. I like to have a nice relaxing time here, so just thought I'd kind of Kind of give you an idea of what to expect if you're new here. Now this is a very cute stuff. I feel like I've seen it though. Coughing. Amphidim. Shinx. Sandy Ghast. Reverse Foil Squavit. Oh, that looks so funny. I like it. Whoa! First pack is a good one. So it is a Copper Raja V. 220 HP. Metal type. Steel type. Uh, Adamantine Press. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's kind of interesting. And then four for 180. Wow, that's uh, it's pretty wild, actually. Definitely a good card to get, so I guess I'll leave that there. So we have a Dark Energy, or Darkness, or whatever. <laughs> uh, Skun Tank. Ooh, Poison Ring. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned during their next turn. The defending Pokemon can't retreat. That's pretty wild. There's that more Peko. A capacious bucket? <laughs> Search your deck for up to two water energy cards, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's kind of nifty for water type decks. All right, so uh, I'll give you a code card because I pulled a good card. So here you go. First one to input it gets it. However, I don't think it can actually be, I don't think it can be entered until uh, May 1st. So you might need to save that for later and then face off against everyone else trying for it, right? All right, so here we go, pack number two. Yeah, it's always nice getting stuff early. That's super cool of Pokemon to do that. I know usually they have pre-releases, but obviously with everything going on now, it's, uh, I, I have a feeling like that really won't be the case or wasn't the case. But I think you can still get the Build-A-Kit things, or you could have, I mean, I don't know when the time this video is live, but that's nice that they still have that as an option. I should have in the description, by the way, where you can actually get these cards. Because I know it might be a little different with everything going on, but they did have a link on the website that kind of shows retailers and stuff that should have them. You might be able to buy them online, too. Um, all right, Gyarados, 180 HP, rack down three for 90. Not actually that bad, three colorless, too. And then Big Storm. Five energy for 200 damage. Discard any stadium in play. That's actually kind of crazy. I mean, that's a lot of energy, but it's a lot of damage and a lot of HP on a non 
Pokemon V, so that's pretty cool. Top entry on that thing was neat. Here's that Halucha that was in one of the decks. Windfall, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw five cards. False Surrender. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, I guess it's not actually that exciting, is it? <laughs> oh well, it sounded cool. I'll give it that. And, you know, cards that have attack names that sound cool. There are so many different ones. So many different ones. You know, I'm gonna jump back to the past for a moment. One of my dreams when I was a kid was to make a database of all the Pokemon cards, all the <laughs> 150 there were back then or whatever. And it took some time, but in 2003, I finally learned like online programming stuff. And uh, it was really neat. Oh, whoa, this Meg Mortar. Uh, burst Punch, your opponent's active Pokemon's now burned and ground burn. Each player discards the top card of their deck. It does 100 more damage for each energy energy discard in this way. That's kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of like a dream that I had. It was something that I wanted to do. Um, and I managed to do that. <laughs> There's that nugget. That thing's wild. I managed to do it, and it was really neat. And I eventually expanded that database over time, so it had several thousand cards worth. Anyway, where I was going with this is I had to type out all of the effects, all of the names of the cards, all of the names of the attacks, and there were some really wild attacks. Like, unfortunately, I don't have that database on my site anymore. I'd love to bring it back someday, but it's going to take a lot of time to go through nearly 10,000 cards at this point. It's crazy, there's so much. Um, but yeah, like, that was something that really motivated me to get into programming and working on stuff, uh, you know, way back. I did pull this Ludicolo before, but I think it was Reverse Foil. Spirited Rush down to 60 damage more, or no, 60 damage for each prize card you've taken. That's pretty wild, actually. Good late game kind of Pokemon. I don't know if I'd rely on it, though. Stage 2 is pretty rough. Pokeball. I feel like that thing's been around forever. <laughs> There's a lot of cards that have just been around since the very beginning. Like Potion and Switch. You always have something, well not always, but pretty much recently you've always had a Professor Oak-like card where you discard your hand and draw seven cards. Like, that was so useful back in the day. Uh, now it's a supporter, so you can't play unlimited of them, but it is still kind of neat. Uh, let's see, Scyther. Scyther's really cool. Sigilith. All right, let's see if I can read this. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I usually read my cards through, like, a monitor I have set up, and it can be kind of tricky to see this. So let's see. I'll have to kind of do it at an angle here. So counterattack. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it's knocked out, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. That's actually pretty cool. And then Psychic Assault does 30 damage for two and 10 more damage for each Damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. That's actually pretty handy. Not too shabby. Um, one retreat's pretty cool, too. Oh, I kind of like that thing. Oh, there's a Zacian. Yeah, we got some of those in the uh, Zacian theme deck. Uh, Fire Energy. Drac Cloak. Well, we've seen that before. Tranquil. Sonia. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon or up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Kind of nifty. All right, let's see. Yeah, I, I like those days. Those are like way back in the day, but it was fun. It was definitely a motivator. I think sometimes hobbies can turn into, you know, something more than that. If you just set your mind to it, you can use it as an opportunity to learn. That's what I did. It worked out pretty well for me. Rubbish. <laughs> oh man, get out of here. Cursed Shovel. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Oh, man. Yeah, this works well. There was like a... What was it? The Sandy Ghast or the Palace Sand? I don't remember which one, but one of them had an extra effect, like a milling effect if this was attached, so that's kind of cool. Whoa! It's Pincurchin V! Counter Attack Kerzap. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, Flip three coins for each heads, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Yikes! And then it also has a three for 120. Wow, that is, that's actually really cool. That can add up to a lot of damage. Holy smokes. 
I actually really like that. <laughs> oh man, that's nasty. Like you would not want to mess with that thing. Heracross, 110 for three. Not bad for an uncommon. Here's the capacious bucket. Turfield Stadium, once during each player's turn, that Pokemon, or I'm sorry, that player, may search their deck for an evolution grass Pokemon, reveal it and put it into their hand, and that player shuffles their deck. Wow, that's kind of nifty, actually. All right, here you go, I'll give you a code. I'll give you a code. Gotta wait before you can use it, but save it for later. See how that goes. Okay, so. So far, so good. Oh, I'm, I'm excited about that pin curch. <laughs> that thing just seems so annoying. Because you don't know how much damage you're going to do. You, as, you know, the, the defending player, you can't really predict how much it'll do. So it could really mess with you. Applin, oh man. Timple, Trubbish, Helioptile, Reverse Foil Beware, Galarian Darmanitan, oh man, Blizzard. Does, wow, it also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Ooh, three for 80, not bad. And then Crushing Headbutt. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't use Crushing Headbutt. Four for 170. That's actually pretty decent on a non, like, GX, non V, you know, just like something that you only get one prize card if it's knocked out. Huh, pretty interesting. Uh, Burning Scarf. I've seen that before, it's pretty nice. Oleana. You can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Your opponent reveals their hand. Put a trainer card you find there on the bottom of their deck. That's rude. Luxio, a top entry. Huh. Interesting. All right, so moving right along here. Got some interesting stuff so far. We've got the Psychic Clefairy, which, again, I... I it was kind of weird. It didn't really... It didn't sink in last time when I opened up Sword and Shield. Uh, but apparently Fairy-type is no more. I mean, it's still around in the older sets, but I think uh, Fairy-types have been changed to Psychic in the card game. Because there's not a type for every single, you know, video game type. They oftentimes get merged. Like, for instance, Stonejourner here, it has a... Uh, it's a fighting type in this, but yeah, we all know it's... Uh, is it Rock? I actually don't remember! Uh, I think it's rock tight, right? It's either rock or ground. I've never used one. I've never used one. Uh, Mega Kick, 80. And then Power Press, if this Pokemon has at least one extra energy attached, does 60 more damage. Wow, so that'd be 160 for 5 on a basic Pokemon that isn't a Pokemon V. Hmm. It's actually pretty solid. Trevenant, Seed Bomb, and Shadow Cage. Kind of okay, I guess. Twin energy. Yeah, I talked about this in the, what was it, the uh, Elite Trainer Box video. Really cool. Kind of like a double colorless energy, except it only affects Pokemon that aren't GXs or Pokemon V. Eerie Impulse. Flip a coin of heads, discard an energy from one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, that's kind of nice. I mean, it's mean, but it can be anything, even like a bench. And then Thunder. <laughs> so weird looking at the two Helioptiles. It's like, looking up at the sun, like, hey, I like this. Sword thing, Dublade, or Dublade. I don't remember if it's Dublade or Dublade. I think I always call it Dublade. But I think it's supposed to be like double. All right, here we go. Stunky, Stunky. <laughs> Angry Grubbin, whoa! <laughs> that is some intense Grubbin. Grubbin intensifies, not to. Me first, draw a card. That's it, that's all it does. Shuckle, berry picking. Shuffle up to five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. That's kind of nice, and then fine, which is kind of unimpressive. Galarian Corso or Cursola, I'm sorry. Parish Body, yeah, I, I saw this thing before. This thing's nasty. It reminds me of the Gengar from uh, way back, way back. I don't remember what set it was. Oh, it's so cute. I love Indeedy. Look at that thing. Replenish time. Heal 30 damage from each of your Pokemon. And then Psybeam. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Doesn't seem that helpful, but... Well, I mean, I guess helpful is all it is. It doesn't seem that good, rather. But, yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. The Metapod also has adaptive evolution. This Pokemon can evolve during your first turn or the turn you play it. So, that's neat. <laughs> I also like the art... Just like, what, a crocheted Metapod, I think? 
Huh. That's wild. Now I want to see what the Butterfree does. I love it when you can, like, turbo evolve cards. You know, there are some things like Rare Candy that let you evolve them, like, on that turn. But you can also, like, sometimes they just have, like, effects that let you do that, which is really neat. Because normally you have to wait. Toxel. <laughs> it's a cute Toxel. Litwick. Low Tad. Mini Drain. Oh, wait, I'm seeing two. <laughs> Hold on, what? Diggers B! Mining Rush. Discard up to six cards from the top of your deck. If you do, this attack does 30 damage for each card you discard in this way. That's kind of risky. That's a lot of cards to discard. And then Headbutt Bounce. Four for 110. I don't know if I like it. Not really a fan of Diggers B. I'm sorry. I like Bunnel B a lot, though. I think it's really cute, but I'm not a fan of Diggers B. Uh, gathering food. For each energy attached to this Pokemon, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. That's a really good setup. Huh. You can really get a lot of things that are useful. Yeah, here's this thing. The Sand Sink. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If this Pokemon has a Curse Shovel attached, discard two more cards. So that's a total of three cards to discard. So that's, uh, that seems like it could be a pretty nasty... Like, milling card. Oleana again? Whoop. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Open up this one in a very weird way. I have a very specific way I like to open up the packs, and sometimes when it doesn't work, I get angry. It's like, no, wait, why isn't it working? Hatena, Magikarp, Metatite with the Yoga Shock, Volibi. Oh, it's Eldegoss V! Oh, that thing's so cute. Happy Match. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Ooh. Wow, that actually sounds like that could be really nice with that scoop up type thing, that scoop net thing that I got the golden version of. Because then you could just keep doing that. And then float up, you may shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. Oh, that's nice too. That would work out well. Okay, Lightning Energy, Turfield Stadium, Lombre. Oh, that thing also has top entry. Look at that. Once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. Yeah, a few things had that like the Luxio and Lampen. That's actually kind of nifty. It's a cool mechanic. Uh, Lucha, and I already secretly gave you a code card on the last pack, so pause the video and get that one. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'll make it challenging for you. All right, let's see. Do do. Galarian Darumaka, Ice Punch, kind of unexciting. Catena, Scyther, noise, pa <laughs> noise pass. Yes, pass the noise, please. Wingle, Galarian Farfetch, reverse foil. Whizcash. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks, both yours and your opponent's. Earthquake, two for 140, but it does 20 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Ouch, but that's still really good, two for 140, although <laughs> that damage to your bench Pokemon's pretty bad. Uh, Milo, discard up to two cards from your hand and draw two cards for each card you discard in this way. That's actually, that could be interesting. It's not as good as something more generic, but, uh, it's, like, there are sometimes decks where you want to put cards in your discard pile, and I feel like that would be a good way to, to kind of, I don't know, put things there, because there's things, what was it, Metal Saucer that lets you attach a metal energy, basic metal, from your discard pile. It's one of your Pokemon. So that's kind of cool. Evolution Raw! <laughs> uh, Galarian Mouth is cool. Yeah, see, there's the Caterpie that also has adaptive evolution. That ah, poor Corsola. Cor Cor I, I keep getting those two mixed up. Just their names, really. Shanks. We've already seen Shanks go away. <laughs> Magmar. It is really cute. Oh, look at that! It's a rainbow rare, Sonya! Oh, she's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon or for two basic energy cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. We already talked about that, but not in that super rare 
rainbow rare forms, so that's really nice. Those are very rare. Definitely the rarest of the three um, kind of tiers. Like, the ones I've pulled so far, those are the normal uh, rares. Then there's a full art version. Now, this isn't necessarily for Sonya. That's a supporter. Um, oh, yeah, I'll give you the code. Here you go. Woo! Um, but, yeah. The... Oh, what was it? Um, there's, like, three tiers. There's your normal kind of Pokemon V. Then there's a full art version, which is also really cool. And then there's your rainbow rare version. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot of versions. And then... Some light trainers, they can come in Rainbow Rare versions as well. I don't think they have just like normal. Maybe they do. You know what? I have a guidebook here. Hold on. <laughs> Let me take a look at this. See? I got this lovely thing from the uh, Elite Trainer box. Yeah, there are full art versions. See? There's a full art Sonya and there's a uh, Rainbow Rare Sonya. So that's pretty cool. And there's that scoop up net I got. I already put away all my cards. They're in my box. The cool storage box you get with the Elite Trainer box. But that would go really well with whatever I just pulled a little bit ago. All right, Clary and Mr. Mine. That thing's wild. Snover. Pedov. Reverse Foil Snorlax. Look at it. Stretching for a berry. Collect. Draw two cards. Collapse. This Pokemon's now asleep. Ooh, that is awesome. Full art Cinderace V. So I already pulled a Cinderace V, but it was the normal version. This is the full art version, kind of like I was telling you about. If a stadium's in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. And then Crimson Legs, 3, 4, 140. So that's pretty cool. If it has no retreat, that's definitely very nice because, you know, being able to switch around your Pokemon is pretty handy, actually. All right, here you go, code. Go get it. Someone's gonna get it. Someone always does. <laughs> but again, won't go live until after the set is released. May 1st. All right, let's open this bad boy up. We're almost halfway through the booster box. Hopefully you've been having a good time so far. I have. I've loved seeing all these cards. It's definitely a lot of fun. I love this Vulpix. It's so cute. It's so cute. Milsery, Galarian Farfetch'd, a Reverse Whale Dew Blade, Probopass, Gravitational Drop. Yeah, this thing was in one of the theme decks. It's all right. Metal Energy, Metacham, Yoga Kick. Beware. Speed Lightning Energy. Yeah, I saw this in one of the packs I opened earlier in the... Uh, trainer box, but yeah, it's pretty cool. When you attach it to a lightning energy, or a lightning Pokemon, you also draw two cards. Otherwise, it's just a special lightning energy card, so it just provides one lightning to anything. But if you attach it, like I just said, to a lightning Pokemon, you draw two cards. So that's actually pretty handy. It's like, not only do you get the energy, but you also get the effect. You get two cards. I like it when they do that, when they kind of give you like a little benefit. Because you can only put four special energy, like four of a named special energy. Basic energy, you can put like 10 lightning if you want in your deck. But otherwise, you can only put four of each card by its unique name in your deck. That's like a limit, so you can't put more than four of those in. Obama Snow, Soothing Scent, and Megaton Lariat. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Like, you just expect it to have some kind of like ability or something. It's just like, oh no, I just have some damaging attacks. Ah! Oh, that card cool is silly. That thing's really silly. Skyla! Search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it into your hand. Yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Okay, so I'd say this is a fantastic first half of the box. Already, whoops. I hate it when I open packs, like, I end up tearing them the wrong way. It's like, no! Wait, what do I do now? I'm so confused. Yeah, there's that psychic type Clefairy. No longer a fairy type. Growlithe. Creepy. I mean, it still is in the video game. It's just for the card game. They probably figured, eh, you know what? We have way too many types in this. We don't need it. Doesn't really add that much to it. Uh, your opponent's act. Oh, yeah, we read this thing. That thing's pretty neat. Barrascuta! Peck for 30 and then Spiral Jet for 130. Discard two water energy cards from your hand. If you don't, this attack does nothing. That's interesting. That'd be good with that one water item thing, the bucket. 
training court once during each player's turn. That player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. That'd actually be really good with that Barrasquita. Really good. Because then you get back one of those energy cards and you can just keep discarding them. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Because 130 for one. <laughs> I mean, man! Back in my day, Pokémon didn't even have 130 HP! Like, period! You had a Charizard that had 120 and you thought, wow, that thing is insane. Nothing can ever take that down in one hit. In fact, pretty much nothing could. Other than, like, weakness, like with Blastoise. <laughs> oh man, how times have changed. Aw, Bunnelby! Burrow, discard the top card of your opponent's deck, and Headbutt Bounce. Phantump. Dark Guidance. Put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. That's kind of interesting. Applin. Ooh, <laughs> that's appropriate. Reverse Foil Flapple. It's got the Apple Drop. Apple Drop. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. If you placed any damage counters in this way, shuffle this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. Aw, see ya! That's kind of weird, though. Like, I guess you can just evolve it and then say bye. And I guess it has Acid Spray, which doesn't seem that interesting. So that could be weird, just having a bunch of Flapple and evolve them and just do some damage to the bench. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, huh. All right, so half of the box has been open. This is what we have so far. Let's see what fortune awaits in the second half. Let's see if there's anything fun, anything good. I've been pretty satisfied so far. Pretty satisfied. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want, like, specifically. I should really have taken a better look. Like, I could have made a wish list of, all right, what am I hoping for? Well, look at this Electabuzz. It looks so cool. Knuckle Punch and Electro Slug. Just imagine if they made, like, an Electric Slug Pokemon. That'd be really neat. Snover. Oh, it's a Detective Snover. Magmortar. Oh, wait, another Flapple. <laughs> well, there's my deck. I guess we're gonna make a Flapple deck. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I think that could be interesting. Just a swarm of Flapple. And you just, like, try to keep evolving them every turn. That'd be pretty wild. All right. Well, I mean, you obviously couldn't every turn, but, you know, you do your best to kind of keep it going. Uh, Galarian Yelth, Surskit, Magikarp, Metatite, Reverse Foil, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. It has Screen Cleaner. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to uh, all of your Pokemon that have energy attached. Interesting. And then triple spin. What is that? 50 for two. For three coins, it does 50 damage for each head. So that's kind of interesting. Oh boy. Whoa! Copper Raja V Max. Oh man, so that's Gigantamax. So you actually evolve the Copper Raja V, and then it becomes this. It has a dangerous nose. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dangerous nose! Wow. If your opponent's active Pokémon is a basic Pokémon, this attack does 100 more damage. Gee, so that's 200 for 3. And then G-Max Hammer, just a solid 4 for 240. Wow. Now remember, if this thing is knocked out, your opponent takes 3 prize cards. That's a lot. That's half of a standard match. Uh, it also has 340 HP, so that's really good. Wow, that thing is nuts! <laughs> Jeez, how appropriate that I got that with the uh, Caparaja V that I pulled earlier. Uh, Phalanx, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, put them onto your bench. Yeah, that's pretty handy. Pretty handy. Masquerade, Nugget, and here you go, here you go. I'm paying my, my code card tax. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you end up pulling it. Somehow I doubt it. It's probably just bots that scoop up videos and claim the codes in them. That's so sad that that's like how it is. But I mean, I, I feel like I've heard someone in the past on one of my opening videos that actually did get some of the codes. So that's always cool. All right, Metatite, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Natu, Hone Edge, Galarian, Darumaka, Oh, there's Unpheasant. That was pretty popular in one of the decks. I think it's the Zacian deck. Darkness Energy, Heat More, Zatu. Oh, look at that art. I love Zatu. It's one of my favorite Pokemon 
Uh, it's actually one of the few Pokemon on my favorites list that isn't, like, just really cute. Like, usually I have a soft spot for cute Pokemon. I just do. Like, that's just... That's just me. But Zatu, I genuinely like because it looks so cool. Like, I just... I, I love that. It's just so mystical looking. Is it good? Uh, Energy Warp. Move an energy from one of your opponent's bench Pokemon to their active Pokemon. That's weird. And then Psychic does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active. That's kind of funny. Not really all that great. Kind of disruptive, I guess. But yeah, I just, I love the art on that. That looks so cool. Oh man. All right, so let's see. What glorious cards we have in this half of the deck. Coffee. Shinxa. <laughs> Galarian Yamask, Applin, Hatena, Reverse Oil Bronzor, Scizor, ooh, Raid. If this Pokemon evolved from Scyther during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. Whoa. And then Guard Claw. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's kind of interesting. I feel like that fit in fairly well with one of the theme decks. Shuckle. Dan. It's Dan. Oh, wait, there's one more. I'm sorry. What, uh, it's a twin energy. There we go. Almost forgot. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Whoa. Open this bad boy up once again. We got Aracuda. <laughs> it's smiling. Stuffle. Lotad. Growlithe. Roly Coley. Mandibuzz. Bone Rush. Flip a coin until you get tails. It does 30 damage for each heads. And then Blindside does 100 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. That's kind of cool, actually. That's a lot of damage for just two energy. And it can hit the bench. I like that a lot, actually. I feel like that could be pretty good. Alchemy, Lightning Energy, Tool Scrapper. Choose up to two Pokemon tools attached to Pokemon, yours or your opponent's, and discard them. That's kind of handy. It has its uses. Dan and Carcoal. All right. Here we go. I haven't been counting how many packs. <laughs> Why would I do that? Why would I do that? It would be nice to say, oh yeah, we're on pack number whatever, but I feel like it'd get real, really repetitive really fast. Chirp! Chirp, chirp. Yeah, that's a good good move for it. Uh, Voltorb. Sandy Ghast. Vulpix, so cute. Milo, reverse foil Milo. Ooh, there's a Dragapult. Oh, I haven't seen this thing. 150. Looks like it wants a hug. <laughs> Look at that. Hi. Hi, guys. Uh, Infiltrator. If any damage is done to this Pokemon by attacks, flip a coin. If heads prevent that damage, hello? Wow. Wow! Phantom Force. Two for 120 and put three damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. And it has free retreat. This thing is really good. Wow. That is nice. I mean, it is a pain having to get a stage two. But I'm glad to see they're finally giving stage twos like really good, powerful effects. That is nice, actually. That, that's really good. Like at first glance, it didn't seem that great. Uh, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. That's kind of cool. It's a good way to get more things onto your bench while you're attacking. However, it's only one colorless energy. So really, at that point, you're using it more for the effect. Uh, also, I guess that effect doesn't get blocked by anything. Oftentimes, there's, like, effects. I don't know if they're still around now. I feel like <laughs> it tends to be in and out of season. Um, but oftentimes, there's, like, trainer lock decks that just try to prevent you from using any trainer cards. So you're, like, really slow in setting up. So sometimes, like, energies that let you do things can be really helpful to counter that. Oh, there's the Nine Tails. Hex! Your, uh, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 90 more damage. Ooh. And then Flickering Flames, 90, and your opponent's active Pokemon's now asleep. So I guess there was like, uh, what was it? I think it was the Garboder that can poison your opponent's Pokemon if there's a stadium. That'd be pretty nice with Hex. Uh, there's something else that worked well with that, too. I don't remember what now. Galar Mine. The retreat cost of both active Pokemon is two colorless more. That's so rude. Oh, that's rude. That is very rude. Um, okay. Jeez, that would work well with whatever. There was something that did more damage based on how many, uh, how much retreat cost 
your opponent's Pokemon had. And then I guess you'd want to play that Galar Mine. So you'd hit for even more. I don't know if it's worth it, but I just I was thinking that would be... That's kind of a good combo. Electabuzz, Squavit, Snover, Natu, Trubbish, Reverse Foil, Litwick. Whoa, what is this? Rillaboom B! Oh man! 220 HP, Forest Feast. Search your deck for up to two basic grass Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. That sounds cool, but it's not actually that great. Like, I think Phalanx has an ability, uh, an attack that does the same for one colorless that can search for anything, not just basic grass. Uh, Wood Hammer for 220 does, or also does 30 damage to itself. That's a lot of damage for four, but doing 30 damage to itself and not really having a good kind of attack that you'll use like all the time. I mean, it's okay if you get down the first turn, I guess. I don't know, I'm not as impressed with that. Here you go. Not quite as impressed. Like, the Rillaboom from the last set was really good. <laughs> I feel like that was great. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe this thing is good. Like, I bet you if you used it with that one, isn't that the one that makes it so your, uh, your grass energy are basically double? I feel like there was a Rillaboom that did that. I feel like if you could get that out, then, you know, two for 220 would be insane. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Galarian Meowth once again. We've got Surskit, Magikarp, Metatite, Milsery, Barnacle, <laughs> Greedent. Look at that happy Greedent. All right, I have a controversial opinion. I actually like Greedent. It, it's, it's always so happy. I mean, it's a big derp. It absolutely is. But the first time I saw it, it was while playing through Sword and Shield, and I just loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is adorable. It's so happy. It looks so stupid, but I love it. Like, it's just, it's really endearing. There's something about it, you know? Uh, anyway, Greedy Tail. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon tool card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. That's actually not bad. And then Tail Smack, 3 for 80. Again, not bad. I, I could see that working well with... There are some decks that work very well with, uh... Pokemon tools. Chatot! I love Chatot. Uh, lucky match. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads, put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. So it's kind of like a budget... What was the card I got? The budget Eldegoss, I guess. I got the flip a coin for it. And then Glide. Actually, is Eldegoss trainer card? No, that's supporter card. So yeah, pretty much a budget version of that. Drag Cloak. And Lampent. All right. Getting closer to the end. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, hopefully you've been enjoying, though. Hopefully it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. I always love opening up booster packs. I think everyone kind of does. And hopefully during these times, it can be kind of fun just watching someone do that. You know, if you're unable to yourself. I know a lot of people, you know, aren't necessarily able to. I'm not at all trying to show off. I'm just trying to have a good time. And hopefully it can, you know, get you to have a good time as well. Because sometimes there's something just relaxing about watching other people open stuff. Alright, so Galarian Surfetched. Uh, it has Pierce, 1 for 40, and then Meteor Assault, 3 for 180. This Pokemon can't use Meteor Assault again until it leaves the active spot. Huh, so that's pretty cool. You'd have to, like, retreat it or use a switch or something in order to get it out of there, but that is, uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, Galarian Runerigus, Spreading Spite. For each damage counter on this Galarian Runerigus, put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. What? So if you had 90 damage on this thing, you could put 180 on the foe's field in any way you like. What? And then Mad Hammer, it also does 30 damage to itself, which normally I don't like, but that's pretty cool with this. Jeez, <laughs> that's kind of nifty, actually. Galar Mine, Durant, Electrode, Electrode. All right, so let's see. Oh man, I'm thinking of that thing now. It's pretty crazy. All right, we got Shinx. Ah! <laughs> I love that Shinx. It's just it looks so like 
so ready to play or fight or something. Like, it doesn't look angry, it looks like confident. Uh, Ericuda Scyther! Oh, look at that! Full art Malamar V. 210 HP. Drag off. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon, and it does 30 damage to the new active. So, with that wording, you would get to choose. So, that's really nice. That's very disruptive. And then Brain Shake. My favorite kind of shake. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, too dark and a colorless for 130, which isn't bad, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. But yeah, that drag off is really nice. It's just kind of unfortunate that it's too energy in order to use it. I feel like it'd be so good if it was just one, but even two is alright. Um, Phalanx, Palpitoad, Capture Energy, alright, here you go. I'm not gonna have any of these things by the time I'm done, am I? Nope! Oh well. I got all these cool cards you see here, though, so I'd say it's worth it, right? Right? Okay. So... Yeah, I got eight cool things. That's actually pretty nice. Do do Applin. Galarian Darimaka. Bunnelby. Cute Vulpix. Phantump. Uh, Reverse Foil Durant. And another Galarian Darmanitan. Grass Energy Electro, that Zatu again, oh yeah, and Happy Lombre. That is super Happy Lombre. Like, there's Happy, and then there's, like, that Happy. Like, seriously. Oops, sorry if I bumped the camera. Seriously. That is Happy! Right? <laughs> that thing is just ecstatic. It's crazy. Alright. Anyway. Well, I'm pretty happy right now, too, with all the stuff I got. <laughs> pretty good box, I'd say. Uh, Bunnelby, Cute Vulpix, Phantom, Galarian Farfetch, Reverse Foil, Volaboy. Ooh, Colossal. Yeah, this thing. This thing's really good, too. Once during your turn, you may attach a Fire Energy card, a Fighting Energy card, or one of each from your discard pile to your Pokémon in any way you like. That is so good. That is so good. Imagine having two of these things out, too. And then it has Flaming Avalanche, you know, four for 130. But since you can get those energies charged up on that thing really fast, I feel like that'd be really good. I just can't, I can't escape you, Happy Lombre, can I? Cursed Shovel. Who cursed that shovel anyway? Who did it? And why? Why would you do such a thing? All right. So, we are actually nearing the end. I can't believe it. Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Reverse Foil Stuffle, Obama Snow again, Fighting Energy, Burning Scarf, Happy and Didi. So happy, just sweeping. Just sweeping. I love the Indeedy. Uh, I'd say family. I guess they're both Indeedy, but like the male and female one, they look very different. But I just, I love their, like, kind of Pokedex description and just their, like, what they do. Like, their whole theme where they, they look for gratitude. Like, that gives them energy. So they try to do things that people appreciate and, you know, are thankful for. So then when they, they uh, receive thanks, it, like, really motivates them. It makes them feel good. It's just, it's really neat. Uh, all right. Toxel, Applin, Reverse Foil, Capacious Bucket again. I don't know if I have a reverse foil one, but then we have the Unpheasant. Fire Energy, Full Heal. Your active Pokemon recovers from all special conditions. You could also use a switch, too, but then you have to switch it back out. Training Court once again. Pretty nice card, actually. Dewblade and the Code. Is that three packs? Three packs left! Oh, man. We're almost at the bottom. Oof. <laughs> We're almost at the bottom, but that's fine. I had a good time. All right, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, Stunky, Stunky, Clefairy. I want to see the Clefable. Voltorb, Reverse Foil, Snover, Sigilith again. This one's easier to read. Psychic Energy, Speed Lightning Energy, Metapod, and Heliolisk. Cool. Two packs. Get out of here. <laughs> it was like that piece from that one pack. I hate it when that happens, you know? You're like opening it, 
And then it just like leaves a piece. Like, no, wait. Okay. Let's see if we'll get something good to close this off, right? Roly Coley, Stunky, Clefairy, Voltorb, Nosepass, Lampen, oh! Cinderace V Max. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, 320 HP. It evolves from Cinderace V, which I actually have two of now. Uh, counter. If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does that much more damage? Whoa, and it also does 30 no matter what. And then Max Pyro Ball, 170 for 3, and your opponent's active Pokemon's now burned. That's pretty cool. That counter is really scary, though, because then if you try to hit it, like, you are at risk for taking that much more. And 30 damage on top of that. Jeez, that thing is nuts. Wow. <laughs> and it's cool that I got both of them full art, too. That's really neat. Horror Psychic Energy. Oh yeah, this thing's nuts as well. Uh, if the Psychic Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, put two damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Like, that's so nasty. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Twirling Sign. That's not good. It really isn't. All right, this is probably the last code for you. There you go. There you go. Oh man. All right, final pack. Final pack. Probably not gonna get anything good because usually they don't put two really good cards next to each other. However, we did have two good things next to each other in this box, so you never know. You never know. But at least I had something uh, Something right near the end, which is good. That was some hype. All right, Surskit, Stuffle, Coughing, Impidimp, Shinx, Who licked the Buzz, Galarian, Rune Regis again, Psychic, or I'm sorry. This is not a Psychic Energy. This is not. This is a Water Energy. <laughs> Metacham, Pokeball, and Pelipper. All right, so there we have it. There is the, uh, the... Uh, what was this? Rival? No, Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash uh, booster box. 36 booster packs. We got some really cool stuff from this, I'd say. Uh, got, let's see, three full arts, one rainbow rare, and then full five. Five uh, normal Pokemon V. Oh man, that's really cool. <laughs> really cool. Well, anyway. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and again, thank you so much to my friends at Pokemon for sending me this uh, really awesome booster box, as well as the stuff from the other videos. Be sure to uh, check out the set once it releases on May 1st, 2020. You can find it at stores and link in the description, as well as probably like uh, local stores, local comic stores, if they ship. Again, stay safe, that's really important in these times. But, you know, you should still be able to get them in some capacity. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time, everyone.